Today we're going to learn how to make the base supports for an army boot cake or just a boot cake using the very basic of tools. Our basic tools are we need PVC or PEX pipe that's cut about eight, eight and a half inches long, two hex bolts and they are one quarter inch in diameter, two nuts that fit one quarter inch diameter, four flat washers that also fit it, an exacto blade, a drill bit that is around one quarter inch or even a little bit less, and then a three quarter inch butterfly or spade bit. We'll need our drill of course, and then MDF board that is about nine or 10 inches in diameter round. Now, to make our pattern, what I've done is I've put a pair of boots, these are army boots, but it could be any kind of boots, on a copy machine, or on a scanner and I've printed them out to the size I want them. And then at the very thickest part of the back of the heel, I have marked, I mark an X and then I cut a square out right in the thickest part. We're going to use that square to mark our holes. Now put your board, put your pattern on your board where you want it to be. Then mark an X straight down the middle. This, right here in the middle, is where your holes are going to be. Now that we've had our, have our holes marked out, what we want to do is drill them. And you put your quarter inch drill bit on here. And I believe I've been told this is a masonry bit. You can use a wood bit. Anything just about will go through this MDF board. Okay, if I drilled right now and right here, I would put a hole in my cabinet. So what I do to protect it is I have this old metal cake pan that I don't use anymore. I put it on my cabinet and I drill my holes this way so I don't drill my cabinet. Now that we have our holes drilled, what we're going to want to do is to countersink them. The reason we countersink them is because if you were to screw this in, it would still stick out, just the head of it, and when you flip it over, it would scratch whatever you have it sitting on. So. You can use a countersink uh, bit, or what I use is this flat spade bit or butterfly bit. Now, I'm not drilling all the way through it. What I'm doing is I'm just getting it deep enough to hide the head of this screw. When it goes in, it will no longer stick out. So we do both of them. The next thing we wanna do is to screw our bolts in. Before we screw our bolts in, we wanna go ahead and put a flat washer in there. That helps support it so the bolt head doesn't pull through the board. You really don't need it on a MDF board on a cake that's this light, but if it was foam core, then you would definitely need a big flat washer. And all we want to do is screw it in till it goes all the way down. Okay, now that we've gotten the bolts screwed in pretty tight, they go all the way in and the heads are completely sunk. See, we can put it on the table now and nothing gets scratched. What we need to do now is to put the flat washers on and screw the nuts in very, very tight. is to take these, these happen to be PEX pipes. You can do PVC or CPVC. As long as it is for water pipe, it is food safe. So all you have to do is snap it over that bolt. Next step is to take your original pattern and either make a copy of it or you can use your original pattern and cut out one of these boot soles. And here we have the one. The reason I use one is so that they're both exactly the same when you make your final. Okay, then take foam core and you're going to cut out foam core in the exact shape. Then mark it with an X. 
and I've already done it actually on this side, mark it with an X and cut it out. Now that we have your sole supports made, we're going to need to go ahead and make the heel for the boot. The next step will be to create the heel. And what I've done is I've poured colored chocolate into this mold, and it's a mold of a heel. Um, I get it from decoratethecake.com, and it's a really beautiful mold. It works far better than anyone I've ever um, homemade. I, I used to make my molds all the time, and this one turns out way so much better. It always peels out easily, and it comes out beautifully. Now the colors we've used are the salted caramel candy melts, and that's absolutely the perfect color. Um, all I do is I sometimes I add a little bit of white candy melts, and then I add like one or two black ones to kind of tone it down. As I take the individual board pieces of board, line them up. Get right there in the middle, and this countersink works absolutely perfect for chocolate. You gotta watch your hands though when you do that. There you go. Our next step is to mark where the heel is going to go. So what I do is put the heel on there. Make sure the holes line up and make sure that the edges are pretty close, especially on the outside. Okay, and then all you're going to do is draw a line like that. Then take your X-Acto blade and you're going to cut not all the way through, but just one layer. This will help your board bend. Just one layer through. these lines in here like this. Okay? And what you're going to do is go ahead and sit your heels back on there. And they are actually going to bend down. Okay? But in order to bend down, we're going to have to cut something right here. But you don't want to cut it on the front because your bend will be going the wrong way. You want to flip it over. And we want to be about right here. Do it the same on both of them. And then cut through one layer. Now we are making the cut on the opposite side from the side we did the first time. One's going this way and one's going this way. So now, when you put it on there, it will sit and be more like a real heel. The next step is to secure the soles of the boots onto the board. So you take your heel and you just slide it on there. Then you slide the board on there. And then you take some sort of glue and you glue right down here, you glue the bottom down, and then I just take small glasses of water, and then I put one here just to hold it flat, and I let it sit overnight so it glues it down very solid.